Tensor 2021 MBA question paper video solution. It's a data sufficiency question. Question number 76. Quite a simple question. Take a look at the question. A piece of wood is cut into three pieces that have lengths in the ratio x is to y is to z is 1 is to 2 is to 3. Okay. What is the length of x plus y plus z? Quick answer options. Paakla. One alone is sufficient. Answer option is A. Statement two alone is sufficient. Answer option is B. Both statements are required. Answer option is D. The given data is not sufficient. Na. The answer option is D. Take a look at the question again. What is the length of x plus y plus z? Now again, x is to y is to z is 1 is to 2 is to 3. So, this is 1k, this is 2k, this is 3k. Now, multiply it with a factor. So, what will be the value of x plus y plus z? If x is equal to 1k, y is equal to 2k and z is equal to 3k, then x plus y plus z is equal to 1k plus 2k plus 3k, which is equal to 6k. So, k unique value will be able to find a unique value for the answer to this question. So, our objective right now is k unique or value kade kama, right? The data is sufficient when we have a unique value for k from which we will get a unique value for x plus y plus z. So, this much is known to us. Now, the value is what is 6k, right? Take a look at statement 1 alone and see whether we have something from it. It says x plus z is equal to 16. Now, x is equal to k, z is equal to 3k. So, x plus z will be equal to k plus 3k which is equal to 4k which according to the statement is equal to a 16. So, do we have a unique value for k? Yes, which means will we have a unique value for 6k which is going to be equal to 24. So, statement 1 has given us a unique value. So, unique answer is available from statement 1. 1 alone is sufficient. So, just take a minute and see. Answer options are paakla. Statement 1 alone is sufficient could be this. Statement 2 alone is sufficient. Statement 1 sufficient are 2 alone and artho, 1 sufficient a yille and artho. So, it cannot be answer option B. This is quick eliminate. This is like data is not sufficient. In so, we have to say answer option A or Y or Y or Y. Statement 1 is sufficient. So, insufficient is possibility. Can it be a C? You will go to C only when statement 1 is not sufficient. 1 is sufficient. 2 order combined with 1 is sufficient. We will go with a C. 1 alone is sufficient. So, the answer option cannot be C either. So, if statement 1 alone is sufficient, the way the answer options are given in this year's question paper, 1 is sufficient, answer option is A. Statement 2 is not even it is not even worth it. Learning value ka manna ninga try pani paakla. Statement 2 pota answer varadha varliyane. But it is not required, it is not worth wasting the time in the examination. So, essentially 1 alone is sufficient, answer option is A. We are not going to look at statement 2 at all. Learning mode larikar nara, we just spend half a minute going back to telling you that statement 2 sufficient a irikka adhanu. Statement 2 is statement 2 is x is less than y is less than z. 1 is to 2 is to 3 is the ratio. Obviously, length cannot be negative. So, this is a positive number. First number, so 1 will be less than 2 is less than 3. This is the ratio question. So, 2 alone is not sufficient. This is the time waste. 1 alone is sufficient. Now, if you have the answer options, then the correct answer to the question is obviously A. One alone is sufficient. Yen mark pannenge. Don't waste time with two.